In today's video, we're opening up an entire case of the new Battles of Legend Monstrous Revenge. What's up guys, we're back with another long opening video. We are opening up an entire case, as I said, of the new set, Battles of Legend, and guess what? This card does have a 25th anniversary rare. I wasn't sure in yesterday's video, but now I have actually seen one. This is the card we're looking for. We will be searching for this in this video, in the next video, and then on Saturday in a live stream as well. But before we get into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this secret rare, premium pack one, Magician of Black Chaos, an original 2008 card. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down down below your favorite 25th anniversary rare in this set there's like 20 to choose from so uh yeah there should be a good one for you also as we get started uh if you guys want to check out my code with sassy auto down below use code i think it's ruxin legend or something like that to get five percent off your order we have a synchro zone very cool puppet pawn and math bank equation so check out the link down below if you guys want to get some of this set as well it's a pretty awesome set so far i'm pretty excited about opening it and I'm pretty excited. Super Poly got a secret. Not good for Legendary Collection GX and Raw Yellow Mega Pack, but pretty nice to see that printed again. And uh, there's a lot of good cards in here. So I'm pretty excited for this. I'm pretty excited to find out the ratios of the 25th anniversaries. Danger Nessie, another good card. Because uh, I've got to figure out how many like cases we're gonna be opening up because like we got a live stream. I gotta try and pull this card. There's 20 of them, you know. It's a lot of different versions of 25th anniversary. So I don't know how long we're gonna have to open. All right, here we go. We're also gonna be trying to make our money back as we normally do with these new case openings. Keep in mind, they are the pre-release prices at the moment. So there is gonna be a little bit of a higher price on a lot of these cards rather than, you know, the normal price it'll be on Friday when it comes out to everybody. But uh, there's a lot of good cards in here. We want to spoil Assault, Synchron, Duality. Those are a couple of good secret rares in the set. I don't know if there's any ultras that are big. I'm guessing they might be right now, but probably by the time it comes out, these Battles of Legend ultra rares that are like a dollar or two usually do not hold up. So that's a secret rare, Battlefield Tragedy. So far, pretty good, pretty good pulls, but I really want to pull that dark, what is it called? Dark Magician, the Knight of the Edge Master. He's a little edgy, you know what I'm saying? It's like Dark Magician, the Knight of Cursed Dragon or something like that. I think that might be the exact exact name. We have Danger Nessie. It's another good secret rare. Good card so far out of Battles of Legend. We can probably do a little mega packs, uh, not today, but in the live stream on Saturday. So you guys want to be at the live stream, go check it out. I, we're also doing a sponsor stream Sunday. So we're probably going to be opening up more Battles of Chaos and Lightning Overdrive, trying to pull that Black Rose and that Dark Magician uh, 25th anniversary. So if you guys want to see that, ooh, Elemental Hero, Flame Wingman, Infernal Rage. Whoa, never seen this card. That's super sick. I wonder if that has a 25th. That's pretty cool. That looks like a nice card. But yeah, if you guys want to be here, we got back to back live streams this weekend. It's Saturday. We're doing the big opening for this set. Sunday, we're probably ooh, IP Mask Arena, Secret Rare. That's probably one of the better cards. And then Sunday, we have Lightning Overdrive, Battles of Chaos, stuff like that. Uh, so if you guys want to be there, there will be some giveaways for that because it is a sponsored stream. We have Amazing Punk Dragon. So hope to see you guys for the streams this weekend, you know, back to back weekend streams. I don't know if I've ever done that before. So this is like a new territory. We got a number 92. Hey, yesterday's video, if you missed it, go check it out. Speaking of that card, these are five card packs though. So it'll be a little faster than some of the openings we've done. We got a Foxy Tune Secret Rare. So the, the punk stuff is finally getting some high rarity that's like easy to get, at least easier to get because for a long time they had a... Uh, you know, they have a oh, water enchantress. So this is basically the reprint set. They've included all the stuff from what is that set called? Why well, can't I remember what it's called? Oh, there we go. Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic. This is the card Dragon Magic, not Cursed Dragon. This is the card that we want in 25th anniversary rare. Grand Creators, that's what it was called. So Grand Creators seems to have reprinted all their good cards in here, which is, uh, you know, it's been a while since Grand Creators. That was early 2022, so probably about time for that year and a couple months away. What can we get? Whoa, 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 calm down there. We have another Water Enchantress, Secret Rare. So the the uh, the Brave package isn't gonna be too crazy anymore if you guys haven't been able to afford it. Now's the time. Telonite Tolmaeus, cool. Now, what is this Pokemon looking thing? What, what is that? What is this Pokemon looking thing? I don't know, it looks like a Pokemon. That's all I can think of. Speaking of, go check out Pokerux. Uh, I've been posting a lot of videos over there. We've been consistent. It's been awesome. Duality, one of the best cards you can pull. If you guys are interested in Pokemon Nuzlocke content, we've been doing it a lot over there. It's been super fun. We've also been streaming it on Twitch three days a week. I mean, unless we have like a ton of other streams, like let's say I have a lot of YouTube streams during the week, then we don't do three streams. But most of the time we do three Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So go check that out if you guys are interested in that. 
If not, just stick with the Yu-Gi-Oh! content on this channel, and that's what you can watch. We have a Junk Archer. That's a good reprint. Let's see what we can get. Battles of Legend. We have Assault Synchron. I think that's the best card. Yeah, that's the best secret rare right there. Assault Synchron. I'm guessing that's a new card. If it's, you know, the most expensive secret rare, I've never heard of it. Uh, I mean, it sounds like a card you've heard of because, you know, Synchron, Assault, and like every other 5Ds card, but looks like they just mixed them together and made Assault Synchron. What else can we get? We have a Tri Edge Master. Okay, no 25th anniversaries. I'm hoping that this video will reveal like an idea of how many 25th anniversary cards or packs we'll get. Rocket Coder. So like, let's say we open, you know, this whole case and get three. And then it's like, we can say they're one in four boxes, but that's just a guess because obviously it's only one. There's a knee play. One case and you never know what can happen with one case. Like when we open Grand Creators that got no collector rares. If we, that was our first one, we'd be like, you don't get a collector rare every case. It's like, actually you do, unless you get an error. But in this, I think, you know, we're probably pretty safe we get like three to say okay we'll probably get three to four a case maybe four you know we don't know that for sure but one every three to four boxes something like that like a collector rare. or maybe we'll get two and like okay maybe it's two per case something like that so that's what we're trying to figure out in this video uh I, we're gonna kind of have an idea how many cases i need to open to actually get the card that we want because there's 20 at 25th anniversary rares at least i think so if we pull like three in a case oh i think we got something Oh boys, we got something. Here's the 25th anniversary. What's it gonna be? Oh, Water Enchantress of the Temple. All right, there we go. Speaking of Grand Creators reprints, here we go. You love to see it. This thing is off-centered. I know all, the, all you guys who would love when I talk about centering. Just gotta mention it, guys. It's just part of it. Part of the quality control aspect of your new cards. So you wanna know that. Part of grading, which I'm not gonna be grading these probably, but just wanna mention it for all of you guys who can not tell centering that they are a little bit off centered i know a lot of people get mad and they tell me that they are so angry that i saw the centering okay but that's a good start water change is probably one of the better ones in in like my opinion i don't know the, the like value of it it'll pop up on the screen but compared to like some of the other ones i saw that were like you know just like magic cards and stuff which i guess is kind of cool sometimes but Having like a monster that's actually in like a sweet, you know, package in a deck is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm struggling to speak today, but we have a Ogre Dance, but we've already pulled one. So maybe they're even more than three or four per case. That'd be interesting for sure. That would definitely be interesting. Ride of Aramisir. So our first pull of that, really the brief package is going to be much more accessible now, which is very cool. I don't know how used it is these days. I'm guessing not as much. We have the Courageous Crimson Chevalier Brandamine. Brandamante. All right. Not even 10 minutes in, we got a 25th anniversary card. Looking pretty solid. I'm loving this opening so far. Synchro Zone. Should be a pretty fun live stream opening this up if we're getting 25th anniversaries like pretty often. You know, like Starlights are fun, but it's like, you know, few and far between when you get them, it's super exciting. These will get like more or probably a little bit less exciting, you know, when you get, but like slightly less because like there's still 20 different options. So that's pretty cool. Once you get to one, you don't really have an idea of what it's going to be. Terraforming Secret Rare Spell Card. That has a 25th anniversary rare as well. We have a Rocket Coder Secret Rare. Nice. It'd be cool if we could pull all 20, but I don't think that's going to happen. That would be pretty insane. Draco Berserker, the Tinny. Come on, Monsters Revenge. Give us something to create. I feel like this one might be a little shorter than some of our other case openings, Book of Eclipse. By the way, I have a playlist for case openings. So if you guys like these really long case openings, I have a pretty long playlist with like a decent amount of long videos opening cases. So you can go check that playlist out. I'll probably link it around here or maybe I'll put it at the end of the video, something like that. So you can go check that out if you guys want to just have a little like you know, I always call these like podcast types or like you listen to them when you're doing something else, especially, which you probably do that with my videos anyway, and a lot of them, but IP Mascarena, but these long ones, especially, cause you can just turn it on kind of, you know, you don't have to keep clicking on a new YouTube video. You know, you can kind of just go with it. Here we go. What will we get? Will it be a 25th? No, Mysterion again. So I want that Dark Magician, but at the same time, it's like, if we don't pull it, then it's like more hype for the stream. So it's kind of like a win-win. So if like we pull it, I'm happy. If we don't, I'm happy, you know, but if we don't get in the live, I'm definitely not happy. Happy. that's when i become unhappy when we don't pull it we have rocket coder we can also get dark arm dragon which i'm totally cool with pulling that because that was going to be my goal until i realized the dark magician had a uh 25th anniversary i was like no we're definitely going for the new card <laughs> the new card that's freaking awesome it's like a it's a dark magician curse of dragon mix even though it's not really curse of dragon because it looks like a curse of dragon okay so far dark hole secret rare cool stuff will we pull another one come on Forest, we have Synchro Zone. Can we get something crazy? You gotta believe, guys. Believe in the heart of the cards. To get 25th anniversary, Junk Archer. Here we go. We gotta pull something nuts. We have Thunder. We have Divine Arsenal, AA Zeus Sky Thunder, Secret Rare. Yeah, he got a 25th anniversary as well. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. It happened. It happened. 
That's fine. I, I'm keeping my Starlight anyway because we pulled it on, in a, a sponsored stream with well, the last three packs. It was crazy. It's really, really cool. Really awesome. One of my favorite Starlight pulls and cards ever. So, you know, a little hurt a little bit to pull that and then a month later it gets a reprint. But uh, still pretty cool. Still pretty cool to get that original. Still an epic moment. It'll probably be in our our top uh, top pulls of the year video of 2023. And speaking of, I've been thinking about how that video is gonna go, guys. And like, we literally have so many good pulls this year already. We're like not even halfway through the year. I'm like, we might have like a top 100 this year. So if you made it to this part in the video, would top 100 be like way too long? Cause like that'd probably be like an hour, maybe even more than that. Would that be way too long or would you guys watch a top 100 pulls of the year video? Cause those are always kind of weird. Like they always start off really slow. Like they start off like really bad and then they like sometimes will come back and do well. So I never know like what to do about this, but like top 10 is like, this year it's just way too small. Like we could do it, but it would be like the best of the best. There's another dark magician, um, which would be fun, but we could do it like a top 100 cause I have, a lot of really cool pulls like we've had a lot of random starlight pulls that would definitely make it into a top 100 maybe top 50 uh but top 25 is what we did last year and like i think we would we another dark magician i think we've got too many good pulls this year like already to do a top 25 so top 50 top 100 could be pretty cool and we've never done one that long it could be a fun uh, speaking of you guys like long videos if you're watching this you probably are like yeah that'd be great but it is a, it, it could be fun it could be fun we have an amazing dragon. I don't know. I'm thinking about that already because I'm like, man, we've had some really good luck this year. We've had some really cool pulls. Arm Neos, that's also a 25th anniversary rare. That's a pretty cool one. Let me just check this out because I think this is a new card. This is 25th, not this one, but this can be 25th anniversary. Let me know what you guys think about that one. That seems like a pretty cool card as well. I didn't turn my phone on Do Not Disturb, so I'm getting notifications. We have Photon Jumper. All right, a TikTok notification. Go check out the TikTok. It's, it's been dead for months now. It, it had a good run where it, where we got like a 17 million view uh, TikTok talk and since then it's been bad it's been it's been rough going down the drain so if you have tiktok go give me a follow over there we have a lot of followers but uh i think they all came from a couple viral videos so <laughs> they're kind of doing iffy at this point like we get like 10,000 views which is like on tiktok you know not that great on youtube 10,000, not bad but on tiktok not as much okay golden rule very cool still a large stack we have only pulled one 25th anniversary so far it's feeling a lot like one every three or four boxes that's what it's feeling like right now assault synchron that's good will it be another epic pull here we go we have a duality another cool one let's see what we can do duality oh we have elemental hero infernal rage i feel like we're going kind of fast but at the same time there are a lot of packs left so i really don't know terraforming it's hard to know with these big big uh, opening because there's so many packs back there you're like i think we're on a good pace but i really can't tell I'm trying to keep it under like an hour you know because an hour is pretty long pretty long for a youtube video danger nasty especially opening cards but you know we do a lot of long videos when you count the lives we do a lot of long videos. We have a Sprite Smashers. We have a Sky Tracker Mobilizing Gage. That's a good card. What else can we get? What else can we pull? Another 25th anniversary secret rare. Very cool. Can we pull something epic? Best card according to the price guide is IP Mascarena. whoop de doo All right, next card. What is it? Bistool Lubellion. Okay, that's, that's a card without a high rarity print. I'm happy about that. Lady Labyrinth, um, probably because those are both played. Welcome, Labyrinth. Cool. Next pack, what will we get? Uh, it doesn't even show a lot of the quarter centuries. Probably because they haven't like been put up yet. That's a secret rare. What else can we pull? Will it be another another do unto others? What can we pull? Battles of Legend. Here we go. Give us something crazy. We've got the Xtox Hydra. That's got to be a new card. I saw that last opening and I was like, I don't recognize this card. I think this is a new card. All right, I keep checking to make sure we're recording just because, you know, I'm paranoid sometimes that the recording will be stopped or something like that. You guys gotta be careful. We have Dark Arm Dragon terraforming again. We will definitely be seeing repeats on these long videos, especially the live stream. There will be repeats in these openings. We have IP Mascarena, good card. Can we get, uh, I'm okay with the secret reprint, not as much the Starlight reprint. Okay, Battles of Legend, Monstrous Revenge. Will you bless us with something crazy? Super Poly, not bad. Will you bless us with a 25th anniversary? Did Super Poly get a 25th? That, that would, I wouldn't be surprised because they just made it a Starlight, so. Like, they just made it a Starlight, let's make it a 25th. Okay, can we get, I'm trying to think of a way that they could have made a 25th anniversary rarity and it not look just like a Starlight, which I've been trying to think of ever since I first saw the rarity, I'm like, hmm. Maybe what they could have done is rather than it have the like silvery sheen to it, like, let me just show you guys. Maybe they could have done it like more of a, 
like a different color. They could have done like a golden one, you know, the way, like just all the sparkles could have been like golden. I mean, that, I feel like that would be cool. Not like gold, gold, like maximum gold, but like, you know, like uh, just like a, like a slight gold sheen to it. That could have been cool. Or it could have been like, uh, you know, they could have even done red. Well, they kind of did that for the 10K dragon. They had the, the red lettering or whatever. Maybe like a red or a green or something like that. Uh, that would have, and it would have been way easy to differentiate two of them because like, obviously it's like two different colors, you know? I think that could have been cool. I mean, they obviously have different color name, but like, let's be honest, who cares about what the color of the name is, you know? <laughs> They're very, you know, very whatever. It doesn't matter that much. Or maybe they could have had something where it's like, you know, they could have maybe done it like a secret rare side, but more of like a diagonal style across the card or something like that. I don't know how that would look, but like, maybe like it goes all the way like this and then it goes across like that maybe that could have looked really cool i don't know i i mean i'm just making stuff up but I'm trying to think of cool ways that they could have done this and uh you know not had them very very similar to starlights and then like you can print whatever card you want in that rarity and it's really cool we have a uh, amazing dragon okay monsters revenge we have opened a lot of your packs so far we've got 125th anniversary we got a punk but we've gotten one brave card but we get like a, i'm guessing right is in 25th anniversary too right get it right right <laughs> okay too much writing here we go next pack give us some epic pulls come on give us something right. there's a right okay not 25th anniversary but we did get a right i still want to know what this creepy guy with the plant on his head is he just looks like a, a knockoff pokemon that's what he looks like sky striker good stuff first time we've seen that card azalea is that a new card I feel like that might be a new card i've never heard of sky striker azalea what more can we pull will we pull i wonder if we pulled all the secret rares i'm guessing we have because i don't think there's that many secret rares because we pulled the top yeah azalea well azalea is the third best card i just noticed that that's pretty good okay azalea looking good rocket coder is really good engage we've got that shadows light we've pulled we pulled yeah we, i think we pulled everything this is like one of the ones on the bottom. I'm scanning. I think everything has been pulled in terms of secrets. So we're really looking for 25th anniversaries now. Salt Synchron will take that every single time. We just want to get them nice secret rares. Let's see what we can get. So far, it's been pretty okay. It's been pretty okay, I would say. It hasn't been bad, but it also hasn't been insane yet. We have 125th anniversary, which I don't know how rare it is. So that could have been the only one from the case for all I know, to be honest. If it's one per case, I'm in big trouble. I'm gonna have to open a lot of packs uh, because I did not get 20 cases. That would be the ratio. <laughs> I hope it's not. That would suck. All right, we have the duality. Good card. All right. Man, there's still a lot of packs left. Still a lot of chances, okay? We can turn it around at any point. Divine Arsenal is used in terms of turn it around. I'm talking about 25th anniversary pulls. And I, I don't know if it's good or bad. Like, I don't know if we need to turn it around or if we're like super lucky right now to have one. I pulled one yesterday, so it makes me think that they're not like one at per case because, you know, we pulled one in two boxes or else maybe we got really lucky yesterday and then we started off really early today with one, which makes me think they're easier to pull, but maybe I just got lucky both times. Totally possible because it's a very low sample size of two openings. We have a Dark Magician. The Knight of Dragon Magic. Very cool card. We have Nightmare Corruptor. Ible, Ible, Ible. Come on, baby. Give it to us. We have Draco Berserker of the Tinny. Come on. Here we go. Photon Jumper. Okay. Okay. It's a card. We are going. Where are the pulls, guys? Make sure if you want some of this set to use my code down below. I think it's Ruxin Legend for 5% off. Sassiato, that is an affiliate with me. Helps out me and Sassiato. And of course, you get Epic Product. And hopefully, you pull a lot of 25th anniversary cards as well. Let me know down below. Are you excited about this set? I am super excited. Uh, I think it's going to be fun. It's, I mean, the new sets have been really fun recently, thanks to the 25th anniversary celebrations. So I'm pretty excited to do some of these openings. I mean, I'm already on my second one here. Still a lot more to come. A lot more packs will be opened on video slash stream. And right now, I'm still looking for a 25th anniversary card. We have a Noah Punk. Cool. Did I get... There's like a piece of the pack on there. Water Enchantress is our only 25th so far. Will there be more? We have Teller Knight Tolmaeus. Come on. Man, these packs do not want to open cleanly for me. We have uh, the Ooze Giant. All right, the Giant of Ooze. There we go. That was a good opening. We have Xtox Hydra. Yeah, I like all these uh, these artworks on the on the packs. So they look really good. Medulce Queen Tiramisu. That's a good reprint. Like the Armed Neos. Very nice looking card. I think there's four different ones. Okay, I like most of them. I mean, I still think this looks pretty creepy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this looks pretty creepy. I am not going to lie. We have Elemental Hero Infernal Rage. We have the Dark Magician, the Knight of Dark Magic, or whatever one is. It? It's not Cursed Dragon of Dragon. It's Dragon something. Dragon Magic, maybe? Something like that. We have Danger Nessie. Cool. 
And then we have this. What is this? What card is this? I don't know. We got to figure out what card this is. I've pulled like all the secret rares. So what is it? Oh, no, there it is. It's an Ultra. Odd Eyes Rebellion Exceeds Dragon. Like how it popped up in the next pack. That's pretty convenient. Definitely looked like an Odd Eyes card. I guess that's a new card. I didn't know about that one. Okay. Very oh, we got something. We got something, everybody. Our second 25th anniversary card. What will it be? Oh, Welcome Labyrinth. All right. We got a Welcome Labyrinth. For all you Labyrinth players out there, I do have a Labyrinth deck, so maybe I can throw this in there. Very, very nice. We've got two now. That's pretty cool. Welcome Labyrinth. Interesting uh, card. I guess it is one of the best cards in that deck, so it makes sense that it, you know, if you're going to print one. They put a lot of Labyrinth 25th anniversary cards. Kind of interesting how like they focused on, you know, like the Brave Package and like Labyrinth, all these different stuff. They didn't put a lot of like throwback cards, which is obviously what we, we'd like, we would want to see on this channel. But they did at least put the Dark Magician, which I'm excited about. Um, but a lot of, they like, I feel like you could put like, I know, yeah, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, you know, they're, they're bored. You guys are bored of that. There it is. Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic. I got it. I was right. But I think it would have been a lot of fun to search for some cards like that. Maybe some alternate arts or something like that. I mean, that would be really cool. I think that, I think Yu-Gi-Oh should do more high rarity alternate arts because at the moment we're doing alternate arts but we're not doing them high rarity that's what they should have done with the ip mascarina that should be the alternate art motorcycle one or a different one and it should be in 25th anniversary rare and then you have two different cards basically and two like two different rarities that are basically the same so i think that would have been much more satisfying for everybody i don't think everybody like wanted the same artwork even if you are happy about the reprint i think you'd prefer to have the alternate art anyway let's go we have ip mask arena again i feel like i've not pulled a lot of ip secret rares i don't know it's like our second or third so far which I guess isn't that low when you think about it. Usually in a case, like short printed stuff would be like two, sometimes three. So I guess if we pull like five, that's pretty normal. Um, you know, just normal variants. I don't know if there are short prints in this set though. I wouldn't be surprised, but I also wouldn't be surprised if none were short prints. It just really depends on what they decide to do, but they've done both before. There's a rocket coder. Very cool rocket coder. That's the third best secret, fourth best secret, I should say, right behind Azalea at the moment. I wonder how our value is doing right now. It's going to be hard to price these 25th anniversaries in pre-release especially. That'll probably make it, you know, we'll probably make it back because of that because they're going to be way too high because there's going to be like three people listing them or even less. So a lot of packs left. We pulled two so far. This is not bad. Can we get four? That's kind of a, I was kind of estimating four based like a collector rare kind of ratio. And that's kind of what I based my order on for my cases. So hopefully I'm right. So then we can actually pull the uh, Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic. Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic, right? <laughs> I'm going to get it eventually because that's the card we got to pull. Battlefield Tragedy. And I love how they, they start turning into like poems and, and rhymes and limericks and all this stuff that you're trying to say the name. Battles of Legend Monster Revenge has been good to us so far. Uh, what do you guys think about this compared to other Battles of Legends that we've had? Like last year, Crystal Revenge. It's not as hype as Crystal Revenge. I mean, Crystal Revenge, the Exodia, I mean, it's hard to really top that Exodia hype. That was pretty insane. But I will say it is really fun having the 20 high rarity cards to go for it. That's pretty awesome. But yeah, it's really tough to top Exodia. That's pretty crazy. <sighs> Let's go. Let's pull... Super Poly, let's pull something crazy. Come on, give us the uh, the Dark Arm Dragon. That'd be really fun. Dark Arm Dragon would be a good one. We have a Soul Synchron. I will take as many of those as we can get. I think we've only got like three, so it hasn't been too many. We have back to back, baby. Let's freaking go. All right, we'll take that. Back to back Assault Synchron. We have a Draco Berserker of the Tiny. If you guys are still here watching the video, you are a dedicated viewer. Shout out to you. You are epic. You are awesome. I appreciate you guys being here. Let me know in the comments right now that you made it to this spot. We'll use a secret code word. What will it be? Stinky Pokemon in the, in the comments. If you say stinky Pokemon, then you made it to this point without skipping. I, I doubt anyone would skip to this point anyway, so... <laughs> maybe maybe it'll show it might actually happen actually because of the little things but stinky pokemon that's the secret code word you are a special uh special butterfly if you guys made it to this point and you get to comment down below <laughs> stinky pokemon i'm excited to see how many people say it we well, have uh punk cool you can either just say stinky pokemon or you can include it in like the third line of your comment or something like that just randomly say stinky pokemon and people will be like what is going on if you want them to feel excluded you want to be a part of the cool kids club make sure to say stinky pokemon all right battles of legend we're getting down there we're getting down to the last few boxes it seems like i'm hoping there's a couple of 25th anniversary rares in this last little bit here i mean it's not really a little bit there's still probably like three or four boxes which is a lot but it feels low compared to what we started with. Come on, baby. We have the terraforming. 
Very cool. It's forming the Terra, just like Zod and Superman. The only reason is because I watched Flash the other day and they talked about how he's trying to terraform the Earth. And I was like, terraforming? Because I think when I watched Superman, I think it was like 2016. That was before I was back into Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Was it 2016? Was it that long ago? I didn't, you know, terraforming. I was like, I don't know what that is. I haven't heard about that Yu-Gi-Oh card in years. So I didn't even think about Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, immediately think about searching a field spell. Okay. Yeah, so I guess that guy was, he came to Earth. He was trying to search a field spell so that he could beat Superman. He was like, all right, I'm gonna get uh, Mystic Mine. Superman, you are no longer allowed to attack. All right, what will we pull? Will it be another water enchant? We haven't seen that in a long time. I feel like we haven't seen one since we pulled the 25th anniversary. Maybe we saw like one. We have a ooze giant, cool stuff. Can we pull some crazy stuff? We have a, oh, we are pulling crazy stuff. What is it? Oh, what is this card? The junk, wait, junk? No, the Edge Master. I can't read it. It's too shiny. The Edge Master. All right. There we go. We have the Edge Master 25th anniversary. I don't know this card. I think it's a newer one, maybe. So not as hype for me, but still, I mean, I'm always hyped about a 25th anniversary card. Okay, that's three. That's not bad. I am excited about that. All right, will we get a fourth one? That's the question. We have a Danger Nessie because we might, we might even get a fifth. Who knows? Or six. Who, I mean, you really don't know. I really have no idea what the ratios are. I know they're at least not one per box. So I know we're not going to get 12. We know that. That's, that's something we know. We have duality. Just duality, not pot of duality. Come on, packs. Open up clean. Try Edge Master. That's what we pulled, and I could not read it. I was like, what does this say? Too sparkly. It's like those old golds. We have Dark Hole. Cool. Battles of Legend. Will you pull something epic? We have a Sky Striker Mobilize Engage. I feel like Engage has to have one of these 25th anniversaries, right? I don't know. I really don't know, but I feel like they have to have one. We have Sky Striker, AA Zeus, Sky Thunder. I, yeah, I'm surprised I haven't pulled one of the reprints just so I could like, it, it just like rub it in my face, Zeus or IP. I'm surprised that wasn't like the first ones I pulled. <laughs> just to like be like, ha you suck. I, it'd be great to pull IP because of like the, the value. Like it's the top card, so I wouldn't be like that mad, but I'd be like, bruh, you had to do it to me like that, huh? I'm okay. I like the ones we've gotten though, because they're all new. Um, even if I didn't, I, the Tri Edge, I was like, I don't even know what this card is, but I am excited because I at least, you know, they're their first high rarity cards, which is cool. Water Enchant. Well, that's not technically true with Water Enchant. It does collect a rare, but it's a different rare, like much different. It looks completely different, so it doesn't feel as bad. All right, we have a Courageous. Very nice. We still, I mean, this is still a lot of packs right here. I cannot open these where it doesn't go right down the middle come on all right come on do not open like that you gotta yeah be really careful it just goes straight down the middle on the rip and then it's a lot harder to open like that all right you gotta be really aggressive with that that twist right there we have madolce queen tiramisu pack opening uh tips right here so a little boom like that real quick boom boom dark hole we don't want to just pull it down we're gonna pull it to the side. Yes, we are in the zone right now. Welcome Labyrinth, cool card. Where's our 25th anniversary? No, I messed up. I didn't get it turned all the way. I messed up, I messed it up. I'm sorry guys, Arm Neos. Have we pulled that yet? We just pulled that one, I feel like. The one I showed you guys. I think that might only be our second Arm Neos. That is interesting. Can I get this thing opened correctly? Dark hole, dark hole. Mini packs to be open left, but not that many. We are well into this video. IP Mask Arena, another secret rare. Man, I didn't get that one. Yeah, see, they are, these are tough, man. They're tricky. They want to just go right down the middle, which makes it hard. Come on, let's do this. We have a Assault Synchron. I'm taking those all day. Those are great value for the opening. 28 bucks at the moment. It's very, very good. We have Synchro Zone. Good stuff. Oh no, I just threw it. That means there's something in here, right? And I opened it wrong too. Oh my gosh. What does this mean? Nothing. It means nothing. Okay. Now this might mean something. We have a Book of Eclipse. That also means nothing. Next pack. Come on. One more 25th anniversary. That's what we're asking for. We got Ogre Dance. Crazy card. I'm getting a Robo Call at the moment. Come on. We have a Tri Edge Master. Good stuff. And more high, high Secret Rares. Like good stuff. And then we want one more 25th. And then we're super happy with this opening. We have Synchro Zone. Battles of Legend. Crystal Revenge. I mean, not Crystal. <laughs> I'm already going back. Uh, Monstrous Revenge. Crystal Revenge. We opened so much of it for that Exodia. I think we opened like... How many cases? Like 10 or something? It wasn't as bad as like the Stardust and stuff, but that's because they increased the ratios of Starlights. Otherwise, we would have been there all day. All day, like multiple times. Because we were there all day one day and we didn't get the exotic. We got four out of five. Golden Rule, back at it again. Come on. Teller Knight Tolmaeus. Few more packs. Probably like, I would say like two-ish boxes, maybe two and a half. Man, this is... 
These packs are being weird. We have Danger Nessie, cool. Good stuff. We have Dark Arm Dragon potential still. Come on, packs. Now they don't want to open right again. I gotta focus in. We gotta get locked in, guys. We gotta really get serious about this. Still did it wrong. <laughs> come on, man. Battlefield tragedy. Come on, come on. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes! Tell Knight told Magus at it again. We've pulled that card a lot, I feel like. I can't wait to look at secret rare ratio, see if there's any short prints based on what I've pulled out of my case, which is a small sample size, but if it is a short print, you'll probably see at least a little bit of a difference. Herald of Pure Light. Card I've not really taken notice to out of this opening, but I think we've pulled a couple of them. We have a Super Poly. I'm still wondering if that has a Starlight, or a 25th, sorry. 25th Secret Rare, that's just a mouthful too. It's just hard to say. Rocket Coder Secret. A lot of secrets to go through after this. A very large pile. We have a Junk Archer, cool. We have a Terraforming, cool. All this stuff is cool, but where's the real cool stuff? The last 25th that may or may not even be in here because, you know, it might not even get one. Might only get three. Salt Synchron, I'm taking those. I'm taking, that doesn't feel short printed. That does not feel short, short printed. We've gotten a lot of those. We have a Rocket Coder. Same thing with that. We've gotten a few of those too. Come on, baby. We got Arm Neos. Now that one is only our third copy, maybe four if I missed one at the beginning. So that one feels a little bit shorter. We have Photon Jumper, which, you know, variants is probably what it is versus actual short printing. That's what you have to keep in mind when you're opening a small amount of product, which in case you're like, wow, that's a lot of product. It's actually a small amount when it comes to ratios. A case is not a lot. Uh, you have to wait for till you hear about like 20 case openings, you know, more than that, 50 case openings, stuff like that, you know, that the big stores are doing. Okay, we got Noah Punk Foxy Tune. Where is a 25th and give us a give us a fourth one? Come on, do it, Battles of Legend. I believe in you. I mean, I don't know if you're supposed to get four or not, but I would love, I bet, I wouldn't even be surprised though if they made it one three per case, because right now they have collector rares, which are four per case. Then they have Starlights, which are one every two, you know, Ghosts are one, you know, once per case. So they don't really have a one every th or three per case. So like one every four boxes. So they might want to differentiate a little bit from Collector Rares, make them a little bit more rare, like very slightly, but a little bit more. That wouldn't surprise me. I, I hope it's not the case because we want to get a fourth one in this case. All right, I thought we were going to beat our normal time. And I think we're still going to have like a 45 minute video like normal. <laughs> I think it's just going to be normal. Junk Archer. Let's go Monsters Revenge. No, it's because these packs, man. I can't open them right. We have a Courageous Crimson. 25th anniversary. Will it be different than a Collector Rare? We're the same. We have Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic. We're going to pull you in Collector Starlight. Prismatic 25th rare. We're gonna pull it, okay? We have Ible, secret. More of that awesomeness, locking you out, baby. Love to see it, not really, not really, I'm kidding. We have the O's Giant. I always wanna call it the Ogre Giant, just cause you see O-O and it kinda looks like OG and like, you see Ogre, I feel like a lot more than Ooze in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> you know, Ooze is not a very common word in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. We have Dante, cool. Dante? I'm guessing he got one, right? But I don't know. Actually, I really don't know. There's so many different ones. There's so many possibilities. A lot of cards that could have gotten a 25th. And like, I look at the list and I'm like, well, not all of them are here. So, you know, there, it just leaves the possibility for anything to have gotten it. Another Salt Synchron, very good. You have a Synchro Zone. Pull some crazy cards, baby. Rocket Coder, we got a little something on there. There you go, Coder. What else are we gonna get? Will there be any more 25th anniversary rares or will that be all of them all three that we got i feel like i'm the more we get toward the end the more i'm like yeah three makes sense actually water enchantress because you know there's nothing else that's three per case doesn't mean that's going to be right but it just makes sense as we keep going kind of fits i think we're like at a booster box now something like that one more booster box we have a danger nessie cool battles of legend monsters revenge we have tri edge master that was a 25th we got earlier we have duality very cool what else we gonna get what else we gonna get we have ip masquerade that was a pretty good few packs right there we got some good secret rares right there good stuff good stuff we have super poly also pretty good battles of legend Monstrous Revenge, please bless us with one more 25th anniversary. There's the Flame Wing Man. One more, and we will be very happy. We have the Sky Striker Ace Azalea, also a good like secret rare. I don't know why I said like secret rare. <laughs> it is a secret rare. Good like secret rare. That is, it is in fact a secret rare. Probably because I can't talk right now. That is, that's the problem. I'm mumbling all the way. It's, it's Monday, okay guys? It's Monday. Last few chances, Rocket Coder, very cool. Let's do this epic Nith Dante, very nice. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed the video, if you guys wanna grab some of this yourself, Sassiato does have a link, affiliate link down below where you can pick up boxes. You can use my code 
uh, Ruxin Legend or something like that, or I don't remember. It's not Ruxin Revenge, I don't think, but it'll be down there. You just look in the description. Use my code, you get 5% off, it'll be epic. IP Mascarena, that is also epic. We're coming down to like the last, what do we got, 10 packs here? Something like that? I think we have 10 now, or 11, I think, 11. 11 packs, I think it's gonna be three, guys. I think it's gonna be three per case, which means my calculations might be a little bit short in terms of how many cases I got. Might have to get a little lucky on Saturday. Oh, there's a couple more here than I thought. Okay, still got a couple more in these stacks. So a little bit more chances. We got Dante. Dante, Dante, good to see you. All right, we have a Shadow's Light. Couldn't grab the carton. Now I think we have nine packs left. We got Ogre Dance. Well, still some hope though. Still some, wait, there are five artworks. This guy has an artwork too, whatever his name is on the front of this one. Okay, we have Punk Dragon. Yeah, whatever this thing is, we have an artwork of as well. It looks like a zombie, looks pretty cool. I'm guessing he's an ultra because we haven't taken notice to him yet. We have six packs left to open for 25th anniversary, the golden rule. Okay, guys, we need a little bit of luck to end it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this long video. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this, new openings coming up old openings coming up i'm super excited so thank you guys for being here for this long video hopefully you guys are excited for the streams we got a stream saturday for this set opening until we get that dark magician the night of dragon magic and then sunday we have a sponsor stream opening some lightning overdrive and for the black rose starlight which does not i think does have a reprint the 25th unfortunately and then um also battles of chaos for that dark magician and those starlights in there we have ip masquerade on the last pack i did i was just going i didn't realize the last pack but hey good last pack so it looks like about one every four boxes aka three per case for 25th anniversary rare so slightly harder to get than collector rares a lot easier to get than starlight rares it's gonna be a fun stream coming this saturday we're also gonna have another opening tomorrow maybe we'll pull another 25th anniversary rare there shout out to home flow show daxer jt cho puffins of doom ernesto dienda miscycle America Deutster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.